Yeah, man. You're now watching the Joe Ooh. TV. TV. Oh. All right, so look, so we're coming to y'all with the rant slash public service announcement. Oh yeah. I couldn't record this video exactly how I wanted to have or record this video, mainly because it happened so fast. But in fact, as we record this video, it's still happening. As we speak. As we speak right now. It's so embarrassing, not for us, but for the other driver. I can't even record it. You still can't get it. So here's the problem. So basically we got a, 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 another driver that drive for this company. They're contract drivers. Now, her backing skills are not so good. What makes it worse is she had to park right next to me. Right next to me, man. But it's okay. So I see that she's having problems. She went out there to help her. I see she's having problems. I go out there being the guy that I am, you know, I'm not the type of guy to look at another driver and go, Oh, you suck. You ain't nothing but a steering wheel holder. No. I go out there and I try to help. So she won't hit our truck. So she don't hit this truck or any other truck for that matter. We're not worrying about the 50 trucks, literally. The 50 to 100 trucks that's parked. Backed up. Backed up on the street. And in the parking lot, waiting for, to, to waiting for her to move out the way. We're not worrying about that. No, 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 no. Nope. Not at all. But what we are worried about is her having any type of accident that will get her in trouble, that will cause her to have to explain to Stevens why she couldn't back up in the most simplest space if she would have just set up the right way. Took her time. No rushing. No rushing. And backed up. Nope. She's a team driver. Why didn't she wake up her team mate to help her? We don't know. But long story short, I went out. I went out there to help her. The There's some warehouse people. There's some warehouse people come out to help. Well, they're, they've been out here. But the point is, after about 15 minutes... Of me trying to help. The warehouse people trying to help. You know what she does? She jumps out the truck. And she comes to say. What she say, Fifi? She said, I know y'all trying to help. I know y'all trying to help. And, and I mean, she's really hysterical with it, though. Like, she's snapping her neck. You know, like, she has. The, I'm going to need y'all to move out the way. Because y'all making me you nervous. You know. I know y'all trying to help. But y'all making me nervous. I need to move up. And reset up. So the guy who actually works at the Whole Foods, he goes, I tried setting her up three times, and she keep messing it up. I had her set up, but she wanted to do it her way. And then he goes, you even try to tell her what to do. And she still messed up. So anyway, like, let's see. No, I don't. So we've closed our curtains. I was going to try to show y'all what's going on, but we closed our curtains because she's like, she's still parking next to us. No, she's backing up. She's still parking next to us, and uh, it's one of those situations. It's one of those situations where you don't, I I specifically, I, I, I don't want to look at her. Like, I don't even want to, like, you, you just went off on me for what? You the one that can't drive. So, um, she's still coming in. The the warehouse worker he he looked at me. He goes, <laughs> "It's funny." He goes, "There's drivers and there's screwdrivers." <laughs> That's messed up. <laughs> <laughs> the truth of the matter is this: if you have twenty different people trying to help you. 
Why well, get angry, upset, disturbed, bothered, discombobulated, distraught? To accept the help. Accept it. Instead of being offended. But you know what? It is what it is. So as of right now, she's in her spot. She's in it. Oh, and you can unload it. Wow. Oh, they getting... <laughs> We're already getting unloaded. That's what's up. <laughs> I can't. But, okay. That's neither here nor there. But that's what's going on. I mean... Really. It, that's too much going on. All, all she had to do was just listen. And we would have helped her. They went as far as calling a yard dog. Like, one of the yard guys had to go up the street. Go get a... a, 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 a uh, day cab. A day cab. To come over here to move a trailer to get it out her way. Now everybody else was able to back up in their spot, but her. And there's, but they had to move trailers just for her. Taking a nap. People. Anyway, that's my. Taking a nap. I wish I could have showed y'all this, it, but anyway. It is what it is. That's, that's just what you got to deal with sometimes, you know? So if you're the driver who has to help another driver, don't let their lack of skills or their lack of character stop you from helping them. And if you're the person who needs help, don't be afraid to ask for help. I ask for help all the time. Yeah. Don't be afraid to ask for help out here. Because what's going to happen is, if you don't ask for help, or if you don't accept help, you're eventually going to make a mistake. And it's going to be horrible. So ask for help. I don't care if it takes you 20 different... You know what? Here's the thing. And, and I tell Fifi this all the time. When I first started driving years, years, years ago, I asked for help. I asked for it. There's nothing wrong with asking for help. I used to ask... I used to ask random guys to 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 uh, help me scale my load. I asked guys to help me back up. I asked. I didn't care. I didn't care what they thought. So what? I look like a rookie. That because I was a rookie. So if you're a rookie, even if you've been driving for a year, you know it's okay to get that help. It's all right. All right. This video is a little bit longer than I expected. I'm not going to put an intro on this. I'm not even going to edit it. It's going to be raw and uncut. Just like that. Kill man. Peace out.